Hello? Who is this? Oh, shit. Is this the wrong channel? Damn it. I'm trying to contact a friend. If someone's lost, I can help. I doubt it. He's somewhere over here in Mopark Studios. And trust me, you do not want to come here. Uh, uh... Been there. Know it well. Quite enjoy the zombie ambiance, if I'm honest. I think you're crazy, but I'll take any help I can get. I'm searching for the gas station set. One with the giant spider. Meet me there. <laughs> Always with the... It's me, from the radio. Wait, aren't you...? Yes, I am Sarah Shepard. Yes, I am wearing my space box outfit, and yes, this is a bad time! Wow. Captain Vixen.
That was stupid, but also incredibly... Captain Vixen, I represent the people of Landinium 12. How may I be of assistance? Never expected you to actually show up. You're really going to help look for Sebastian? My people are but simple redshirts, destined to perish attempting hopeless acts of kindness. He's a skinny kid, no fighter, but he's tricky, creative. It's how he's made it this far. The problem is I can't reach him on the radio and his stupid Dee Dee toy keeps drawing in the zombies. That plucky beeping coming from your bag? Dee Dee 09, Space Fox's nav droid and baby robot merchandise milker. Can't stand the thing. But Sebastian loved it enough that he made a replica for conventions. I have no damn clue how to shut it up. If he doesn't get back and do something about it soon, our safe zone will be overrun. Then let the mountain come to Mohammed. I'll take Dee Dee to Sebastian. You can clearly take care of yourself. Fine, you take Dee Dee. Start your search in Soundstage 3. I'll keep looking out here in peace. Just don't lose that bag. Kid's lost enough as it is.
Don't worry, Dee Dee. We'll find Seb. Just keep it down, okay? Belay the beeping, Dee Dee. Desist. Plot another jump. We won't find Sebastian here.
No comically timed interjections, Dee Dee. Sebastian, and he hasn't been turned into a small pile of grey dust or sprayed by hypnotic flowers. We need to get to him. Why is TO9 acting like this? I can check on it, but not until those body snatchers are dealt with. <laughs> Snatchers for now. Bring DD09 over here so we can talk. I left DD09 with the IRL Captain Vixen, so where's Mrs. Shepard? And why do you have my robot? And on that note, why are you here? And also, who even are you? Well met. 
I'm JJ. No, not that one. Captain Vixen sent me. So the captain sent you? But I'm fine. I'm just scavenging for tools and parts. Nothing to worry about. The challenge is that Didi here won't shut up. It's acting like a zomboid beacon. We need a stealth mode if possible. Oh, jeez. I really screwed up. This is beyond cringe. My dumb robot nearly got Miss Shepard killed. I can't show my face around her no more. She's, she's gonna hate me. And Sebastian, this is not a time for self-indulgence. Your captain requires that you restrain Dee Dee and report in. You're right. I'll fix Dee Dee 09 up and return to camp. Uh, please, take something for helping Captain Vixen today. Consider it your spoils of war, and may the Star of Volpine guide you. Captain, and Sebastian has been found exploring stage six. He is well. Oh, can't thank you enough for this. If you ever need to take a break, you're welcome to join us behind the big green screen. I'm keeping the area safe.
You know, you're like, you're good at this. You, you're good at, um, apocalypses. This. Yeah, I am. Finally found my calling. But I'm, <laughs> hey, I'm not. Roxy and me, staying out of trouble is like a full-time job, man. I've only ever been really good at one thing, and pff, I barely even do it anymore. Got some whiskey? <laughs> man, you guys inspired some of the worst fan art in history. Ouch. A and exactly. Like, what have we done lately? I gotta find that spark again, man. Get back in touch with the gods instead of just the whiskey. Oh, Farouk. Bless you. Farouk's our producer. He lives next door down a hill, like, totally obsessive about discographies. Collects every master tape and unreleased track you could imagine, including ours. Hey, some of those had real promise. I wonder if... maybe sample them? Hey, I I'll be right back, man. Tell Roxy not to worry. Steady, you're a baked bean, not an apocalypsis ing bean. I'm not? No. We both know I'm the player, the slayer, the soothsayer. You can use that if you want. I'll go get the tapes. Aw, oh, kick ass! If Farouk's not home, just ask his boyfriend Dave to show you around. Tell him I sent you. Ricky, nobody will be home, even if they are. If you know what I mean. Hell, you look like you need a drink. Beer or water? Nah, taps broke. It's beer or nothing. Not for me. I'm not in the mood. Up and over. Lovely. Ha! <laughs> 
You have a nap, mate. I'll let myself in. Right, got some whiskey master tips. And whatever other fancy swag I like to look on. One priceless original. Love what you've done with the place, boys. Who's been a busy beaver, Dave? Every recording studio has its entourage. That'll do nicely, Madam Brisley. Huh?
Before you ask, I do not bring pizza. Oh, hey. I don't remember calling a... Do we have an interview scheduled? No. We have a thank JJ for being a hero scheduled. Three session tapes from Farouk's place. Farouk is dead. Obviously. Farouk's? Oh, man. Dave's gonna be, like, heartbroken. Uh, no, he isn't. He's dead, too. Oh, sad note, man. Like, ballad-worthy. There was this one track we laid down and... Hey, wait. D did you say master tapes? I was just thinking about getting those back. How do you even get dressed in the morning? No, don't answer that. This is fucking awesome, man. I'm gonna listen to them right away. I oh, there's some gems on here, you know? Some real gems. I... I uh, think. Hey, thanks. You're like a guardian angel of rock. Or a player, slayer, and soothsayer, yeah? Those are lyrics right there. For a rock song, perhaps? About a lone, swaggering hero with excellent hair. On his list, you'll find a word. Oh, hey! You got me the tapes, didn't you? You still don't remember my name, do you? Hey, thanks to you, I'm on my way back up, man. Those samples and old ideas are gonna be part of a new album, man. Big themes, big riffs, sex, death, undeath, badass lyrics. Well, I'm a little out of practice with lyrics, I'm not gonna lie. Did you have a point you wanted to make, or are you just dreaming out loud? Screaming fans, screaming guitars. Oh, hey, I gotta go to my place and get Chopper. The Apocalypse needs a soundtrack, man, and Ricky Rex is gonna ride with the horsemen! Let's assume Chopper is a guitar, not something sordid. And let's say I could go get it for you. Oh, yeah? Oh, killer! Cause I got this song brewing, and I gotta keep hold of it. Oh, you need to find Misha. Chopper's locked the way upstairs at my place. You gotta be careful. Cause, cause this one time, when we didn't lock up, when the party finished, the whole upstairs was, like, empty. Totally cleaned out. So yeah, Misha, she had the key. Right, Misha. So many fucking names to remember. You think the end of civilization would remove the need for a contact list? You best go around the back through the kitchen. Oh, and if the band are there and, you know, milking their encore, could you send them up to the big gig in the sky? I'll probably just kill them. No time for metaphysical logistics. Oh, it's no use. Without my chopper, I'm just a tape without a player. Missing the final piece, separated from the one thing that could set my music free. Without his hand, hands. Separated from the one thing that can bring back his heart's
Oi! Party's over. Fuck off home. This is a rock legend's crib. Nice venue. Look at those views. Locked. Ah, oh, Misha. Ricky says she had the key. So, to lure her out. Welcome to the Gods and Whiskey Farewell Tour. <laughs> oh, bollocks. Here they come. The janky remains of Gods and Whiskey. Ricky says hi. <laughs> All your base are belong to me. You know, there's something about staying to a beat. It actually helps.
Just one way to split up, I guess. Creative differences. You're late, Misha. We had to start without you. Sorry, Misha. You have been disbanded. One key. Lovely. Fabled upstairs. It's got to be bursting with loot.
So, Chopper, surely an axe guitar, or a ukulele with attitude. The Fable Chopper. Generally, I'm a completionist, but the gods on Whiskey Slaughter would have to stop a Ricky. For now.
Oh, you got Chopper! Killer! This is it, dude, Dawn. Oh, did you, uh, or, or the band? It was an escalator to heaven moment. That's... they would've wanted that. I'm gonna write them a song for the new album. Slam to the Slaughter. You've started a new album? Yeah. Check this out. One man and one woman and her pain in the ass daughter on a quest through the apocalypse to put a band together playing music so spine shakingly epic the zombies' heads literally explode. Jesse would make an awesome manager. Yeah, yeah, that works. Another new start. Hey, you really helped me out. Oh, I got this big sword I used on the Knights of the Sound Fable tour. You want it? If it ain't fake, yeah. Gods and whiskey. They said this old skull could write no more. That's what the tabloids said. That's what those new hippity dippity artists said. That's what everyone said. But not our fans. No. Our fans believe in us. And that's who this album is for.
Another controversial beachfront development. Anybody home? Zulu don't surf. Lovely. So, the quarantine corridor to the lifeguard tower. Decor could be more inviting. Three stars. Here we go. Stay frosty, Jay. Of course I'll need the fucking code. Reception was a bloodbath. Two stars. The officer of the day had the code. Duty roster. Hold on. I need to know when. Fella on duty was Hicks. So, corpse or zombie? Corpse or zombie? Not our boy. Come on, Hicks, where are you? Not a sausage. Jacob Nilpoint. Nope. Lovely. More of the code. Still got to find Hicks, or at least his tags. And he had a bad tum. Potty time. Lovely. One master code. Set phases to exfoliate.
Oh, thank the stars. I'm Jacob. This is Warrant Officer Rodriguez. You should turn around, dumbass. That corridor is not secure. But it's your funeral. Out. Funeral, schmineral. Once more unto the breach.
chance to turn back. Do not attempt to enter the tower, or else I'm going to toss your ass out. My ass is mine, and mine to toss alone. Rodriguez, what you hiding? Still nothing. Rodriguez, dost thou attempt to deceive? So, loads of traps, but no squad of grunts.
restricted area. Are you trying to get killed? On occasion, but not today. Get over here and explain yourself. You always do the opposite of what you're told? I wanted to come up and see the whole gang. Stupid. Well, lesson learned. The whole antisocial misanthrope routine is because... Just shut up, okay? Right now, you are sand in my grease. There's two ways this goes. You make yourself useful, or my boot propels your ass back where it came from. Quid pro quo, Rodriguez. Quid pro quo. Ugh, right. How about some genuine U.S. Army gear? Finest in the world. Or so they tell us. Then consider me quoed. We've got a deal. Then listen up. I got a hole in my defenses. Fuppets keep coming from the pits out back, and contrary to rumor, I'm particular about exposing my rear. Pit? Death pit? How do we deal with that? Fire. Burn them all. <sighs> First floor, back entrance. Assuming you're... Still up for this. Well, what are you waiting for? Those pits aren't gonna burn themselves.